The co-main event of UFC 273 will feature an unlikely champion with a unique story. Gently push against my hand here. Hold, hold. Because bantamweight title holder Aljamain Sterling Back to the left. spent his entire MMA career battling a neck injury sustained as an NCAA wrestler. I always put it off because I was able to get through it and able to compete. Aljamain Sterling is willing to take chances. He can execute spectacular techniques, and he's very creative. I've walked through fire to just show up for fights. Look left. That looks way better. One would never assume Sterling fought through injury. No gas tank issues whatsoever for Sterling here. And that is how you cap a victory. Keep the judges out of it. As he dominated opposition with his patented and unconventional funk. We knew a contender was going to rise, and that contender's name is Aljamain Sterling. You look for the new guy, but the guy's been right there the whole time. Sitting in oh! taps, Aljamain Sterling with a monumental win tonight. I'm tired of all this hype. Everyone talking about is the greatest guy, and you better win your fight because I'm coming for that ass. Even the opportunity to fight then-champion Piotr Jan. This guy smashes everybody you put in front of him. He knows when to pressure you, and he knows when you're breaking, and he knows when to turn it on. It's too good to pass up. So here he is, the former two-time D3 All-American wrestler and now the number one UFC Bantamweight contender, Aljamain Sterling, in his first UFC championship opportunity. When I look back at it, I get chills even talking about it. When you're making that walk, it's kind of a, a lonely feel. No fans, super quiet, kind of eerie. He's a very dangerous threat. His wrestling, his grappling, his striking, all those things and that experience makes him a dangerous threat to Pyotr Jan's title. It's almost as if you're walking into a back alley and then someone just kind of tells you, you guys ready? Aljamain, first round, ready? You guys ready? Pyotr, ready? Okay, fight. Fight's on. Deep breaths, folks. These guys are just so comfortable in a fight. Look at this. Constant pressure by Aljo. Side kicks, jabs. I can still visualize myself in there, seeing Jan, seeing myself pushing forward. He's got Piotr backing up right now. Good movement there by Aljo. Oh! oh Beautiful takedown defense by Jan. I wore my heart on the sleeve that night. I took some big shots, like a man. Oh! A huge knockdown oh! for Jan! That right hand was nasty kept coming forward and kept trying to make whatever I could out of that moment of opportunity that I had. Aljo's just not giving him any space. I just don't quit, you know? But sometimes things don't go your way. You make one miscalculation, and sometimes the entire fight just goes to Oh, oh look nice. at that. Take down by Piotr. Aljo has slowed down considerably. Thankfully, Jan was stupid enough to not know the rules. Ground it. Oh. That's illegal. Time. Illegal knee. He told him. Before that, he said, downed opponent. My reaction to being fouled was, what did I just get hit with? The shots you don't see, the ones that hurt the most, man. His knee was all the way down. 100% illegal. This could be a disqualification. It's a bittersweet kind of thing, you know? You fought so hard to get to the title shot opportunity. You get the opportunity. You did all the hard work. After five. After five, stay here. Stay here. Yeah, Can't right even now. get up. This fight's got to be called. The fight's over. It's a way to end the fight. Because of all the that I had to get through just to get here. If this fight is stopped, Piotr Jan will be disqualified, and Aljamain Sterling will be the undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion. Which is crazy. I think we're going to be done. Yeah, OK. All right. There it is. That's it. And that is it. That's it. I don't like that a title can be won this way. Mixed emotions for Aljamain Sterling. I don't think there's anything sweet about this. I think he probably feels like the title's illegitimate. Look, Aljamain is a winner. He doesn't want to win a fight like that. Look, he just threw the belt on the ground. Anticlimactic, to say the least. But Aljamain Sterling, via disqualification, is now the undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion. Внутренняя моя реакция была в моменте. Я такой, что ты натворил? Все было так близко, да? Я считаю, что как минимум надо было сделать этот бой не состоявшимся, а не наградить его чемпионским титулом в таком поединке, который он проиграл. Потому что человек, боец, уважающий себя, он сам, во-первых, никогда бы не принял этот титул и нигде точно уж там 
никаких СМИ, прессах. The circumstances surrounding the conclusion of Pyorion's title bout with Aljamain Sterling warranted an immediate revenge. Let's go, let's go. Drive, 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 drive. Set for the UFC's return to Abu Dhabi in late 2021. Good, small steps, small steps. But in the thick of training camp, Sterling's injuries would resurface. Aljamain Sterling is out of his title defense against Piotr Jan at UFC 267 because of lingering neck issues. Push it out, bro. No mercy, no mercy. Мне предложили либо мы ожидаем восстановления Стерлинга, либо я дерусь. Go, drive, drive, drive. Speed, 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 speed. Когда мне сказали, что бой будет за временный титул, я сказал, я сказал, что кто бы то ни был, погнали. Stepping in to face Piotr Jan for the interim bantamweight belt. Oh! You never know what he's doing. You never know where things are coming from. Would be one of the division's most electrifying title hopes. Oh! That's it! What a finish by Corey Sandhagen! And a dangerous Corey Sandhagen. Oh! oh! Knocked him down with that one. Came ready to spoil Jan's hopes of a rematch with Sterling. All right, so here he is, the number three ranked UFC Bantamweight contender, Corey Sanhagen, making the jog for his first UFC championship opportunity. И он знал, что когда мне дали Сан-Хейгена, он везде говорил, что Сан-Хейген побьет его. He respects Corey Sanhagen for coming here and taking this fight. But ultimately, he feels like this is his title to just reclaim. And a matchup as good as any in recent memory in this ruthless UFC Bantamweight division. Конечно же, он хотел как можно увильнуть от этого. Jan normally will just go forward, he'll land, he'll break people down, and later in the fights, they start to fatigue. So it's going to be on Sanhagen to make sure that he leaves enough in the gas tank to carry him through fourth and the fifth round. Body kick is there again for Jan. Oh, Ooh. nice shot there by Jan. Big left from Jan. Sanhagen says, bring it. Oh. Sanhagen to the body. Jan goes to work up top. Oh. Spinning back fist and a follow up left. You just knew this was going to be a great fight. The skill sets from both these men on full display in this fight. A lot of layers to the striking games of both men. Whoa, beautiful shovel uppercut there from Jan. Yeah, Jan starting to feel himself, right? This is what we see in his fights. He takes stop early, he makes adjustments, he makes reads, and he starts laying on the pressure. Oh! Spinning back fist! If you're a band of weight watching this, it's scary. I mean, this pure Jan is good. Jan back Sanhagen up with a combination. Oh, beautiful body shot. Oh, my God. Right hand right up the gut for Jan. Oh! What a fight. Jan right back to work. Oh, oh, oh! Beautiful spinning attack late. Oh, and they're fighting past the horn. What a fight. He can't take the choice of any other opponent, because I also have a choice. No mercy! Everyone knows here who is the champion of the real champion. Everyone knows that Clown Sterling is just running now. UFC interim bantamweight champion Piotr Jan is preparing for his rematch with undisputed champ Aljamain Sterling, a world away from the frigid expanse of his Russian homeland and the tropical comforts of Thailand. Мы же давно здесь тренируемся. Это просто вот последние полтора года, пока все было закрыто. Я здесь там нормально, он может просто чемодан очков взять штук 500. Наверное. Солнце, море, настроение такое, но энергия восстанавливающая здесь гораздо быстрее. Like most fighters who migrate to this Asian paradise, Jan trains at the Tiger Muay Thai facility in Phuket. Once a haven for aspiring kickboxers, now a global landmark for martial artists from every walk of combat life.
Когда я приехал сюда в 2014 году, он был маленький. Ну, после народ сюда ехал и начали появляться отсюда чемпионы. И, конечно, Тайгер стал расширяться, расширяться, расширяться. Мы тренировались и с Валентиной Шевченко неоднократно. И с Алексом Волконовским неоднократно тренировались, спарринговались. С Израилем Адисаня тоже Адисаня тоже тренировались здесь. Сюда приезжают все за практикой, потому что съезжается много бойцов разной квалификации. Я здоровье тоже одно не одно, аккуратнее смотри там. Ребята профессионалы занимаются. To prepare for the grappling prowess that Aljamain Sterling will bring to UFC 273, Jan is training alongside a multiple-time world champion judoka. Я вообще по базе борец, я мастер спорта международного класса по сам бои дзюдо. А Петр мастер спорта по боксу, то есть он ближе ударник, я ближе борец. Ну. Выйти просто и доказать в очередной раз, что кто является настоящим чемпионом, да. Продолжаем, продолжаем, пацаны. Крайние две с половиной минуты. Продолжаем время. Да, да, да. Тебя били, тебя морально били, тебе оно. И тебе придется это делать снова. Across the globe near the Big Apple. Reigning King Aljamain Sterling prepares for the rematch against Jan in his physical prime. Following an overdue but successful operation that corrected the issues with his neck. I feel like having this surgery has given me a fresh lease on my athletic career. Being able to walk, being able to turn, being able to sit and stand and not feel like you need to shift your position because you're having some type of radiating pain down your body. Having a surgery like that is a big operation, even though the recovery was really quick. But to get my lungs back underneath me and to get my feet back underneath me, it took a couple rounds with the machine, AKA Marab Duvalishvili. Like Piotr Jan, Sterling's return to form is aided by key team members and coaches. So keep working your way in. Nice, Aljo. From top 10 UFC bantamweight Marab Duvalishvili. Let's go, Marab, keep pushing. To the Empire State's Ray Longo. And across the U.S. to the Nevada Desert's preeminent mastermind, Eric Nixick. Back to work on the jab. Oh, spinning back fist. This Fiorian is good. And if you're a band of weight watching this, you're worried. The reason why he came to Vegas initially was to get a lot of work done and, and kind of help his body. Now a lot of that's been cleared up. The nice thing is that he's been in there with Piotr Jan already. We kind of understand what curveballs can we expect and what curveballs can we show in that fight as well. Hey, smart exits off those clinch breaks, yeah? Smart exits. I just know what I'm capable of doing. When I'm on, I'm one of the hardest guys to beat. Aljamain Sterling! You can't keep a star from shining, and my star's gonna shine bright. I am the best guy in this bantamweight division. I can't wait to prove it. On April 9th, Sterling and Jan will be primed and ready to settle the score. Oh, Peter Yan! In a rematch between champions. Beautiful punch by Jan! To determine who is undisputed once and for all. Plan на бой со Стерлингом выйти и показать доминирующее выступление. Кто разбирается, в принципе, не воспринимает его всерьез. Time management now, Aljo, we're cooking. At UFC 273. I'm trying to put it all together, right? Four rounds, all your data's collected now. You got your fifth round. I get my hands on him, man. Constant pressure by Aljo. Show him who the real king in this division is. 